We can place doors and curtain walls by replacing a panel type. Before doing this, we must first create a panel with appropriate door dimensions. First, let's delete the mullions by selecting them, unpinning them, and finally deleting them. Next, we must delete the grid line segments by selecting a grid line and using the Add Remove Segments tool. Once we have removed the desired mullions and grid line segments, we are left with a door sized panel that we can turn into a door. We can make doors and curtain walls by changing the panel's type. Let's select our door size panel after highlighting it with the Tab key. Next, let's review the available types. Select the curtain wall single glass type. This will replace our glazed panel with a door panel. If the desired door is not available in the type selector, we can load it into our project by opening the door tool and then selecting load family. Let's open the folder named doors. In this folder we will notice that there are multiple curtain wall doors available. Let's select the curtain wall double glass element. While we have loaded this door into the project, we will notice that it is not available as a door type. After opening the wall tool, the door can also not be found as a wall type. This is because curtain wall doors can only be placed by changing the type of an existing panel. After selecting the door, we are now able to locate the newly loaded door in the type selector. Select this door in order to change the panel type from a single glass door to a double glass door. Now that both doors have been loaded into Revit, we are able to change any panel into a single glass or double glass door simply by selecting it and changing its type.